Howdy folks, today we are back with the uh, very, very dirty uh, Marantz 2220 from before. Uh, this one's been on my desk for a couple of weeks now and has been uh, my primary receiver and has uh, been displaying some, uh, some characteristics I'm not super happy about, so I'm going to do a little bit of work on it here. Uh, the primary thing that it's doing that I don't like is it has a uh, it has a hiss in the left channel, and if you really crank it, it has a 60 hertz hum in the right channel. So I'll let you hear that. So, and this is loud enough that you can hear it in between songs and at low volume levels and things like that. So not generally a fan of that. So uh, it is, let's see, you know, the volume knob impacts it as does the balance knob, which makes me think that this is probably in the preamp, which is before these two controls and so the general approach here instead of trying to troubleshoot every single little component because the components actually aren't all that expensive we're going to replace all of the transistors and all of the uh, electrolytic capacitors on the uh, on the preamp board here and uh, that's going to be that's going to be our approach so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, Go through and swap in uh, everything you see here. Uh, this is a, a set of components. Uh, did a little bit of digging around uh, Audio Carmen and a few other places to uh, come up with uh, what good substitutions would be. And so these are all uh, high quality substitutions for the uh, for the older components. And yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and get to uh, swapping components and see what kind of impact it has on uh, how well the receiver performs. All right, so I was hoping to record the entire, you know, kind of session through here of replacing everything, but I ran into a couple of things. I'm realizing why there are basically no videos of doing this. And uh, it's really because it's a giant pain in the ass to try to get the, you know, magnifying glass down in here, get your face down in here, get the soldering iron down in here, and be working on this all without you know, running your face into the camera without, you know, running the soldering iron in, in, into any of the other random wires without doing anything terrible. It's really a giant pain to uh, be doing this. And uh, yeah, so I can understand why there are no videos. And uh, so therefore, I'm, you know, for the moment following the trend of there are no videos. I uh, may try and rig something up with like the camera over here next time. See if it's a little less in the way um, to uh, get this done. But uh, the other thing I noticed as I was going through here is uh, these are halfway decent uh, Elna caps, which uh, I am kind of surprised are here. And uh, therefore, there's a, I think, a decent chance that this has been recapped already. Uh, so I wound up not uh, going through and finishing up uh, putting in all the... Uh, all the new caps, figuring that uh, it appears that it has been done and these are new and modern. And uh, the most likely candidates were the transistors anyway for the uh, for the issue. So I went through, you can see here, I was tracking uh, everything I replaced, I tracked whether it made a change or not. And uh, H502, which is, uh, I think this dude right here, uh, when I replaced that one, the uh, static went away. So now this is with it on like before. 
you can see that we can get uh, way up in the volume. You have to be really high up here before you get a little bit of hum. You might be able to hear that. And uh, that's uh, that's just, you know, grounding hum. It's 60 hertz. And there's a tiny, tiny bit of static, but this is at like, you know, cranked volume. So at anything, you know, normal at all, you're not going to have any uh, any uh, annoying idle noise. So I'm uh, definitely pretty happy with uh, with how this came out. And I think I'm going to uh, call this part as far as the uh, amplifier goes. I'm going to call it done. Um, let's see here. Let's unplug this to uh, finish putting the board down. So this uh, this receiver still has a uh, couple more couple more things it needs. Um, it. Uh, Let's see. Where does this guy go? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where everything went. It uh, needs the uh, tuner to be aligned. It doesn't have uh, FM stereo at all. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't ever kick in. So that's uh, that's going to be the next thing we're going to play with. But uh, that'll of course be another video. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get that guy to sit back down. All right, that looks good. All right, so that is back in there and happy. As you can see, all of our transistors have been replaced with uh, SC1845s, which are the uh, kind of modern quiet equivalent of what used to be in there. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be enough for today. So thank you as always for watching, and we will see you in the next one.